Well, lo and behold, here's our Cracker Jack Spaceman, and I dare say that's kind of cool now. He was, he was, he was on the scrap heap, ready to get the overnight soak in, in warm water, and then get scrubbed off with the brush. And what I did was I essentially encrusted him with micaceous iron oxide here by Golden's from their fluid acrylic line. And that actually looks kind of cool. Um, I'm not trying to paint these as miniatures. It's, it's supposed to be a little Steve Nyland painting that just happens to be applied to the surface of a plastic figure. Uh, but that's, that's, that's working out pretty cool, I think. I'm not going to trash it now. Uh, the red of his eye slit is the original plastic color. And he was all chewed up. And the, the micaceous iron oxide kind of helps blend the chew marks in a little bit. And now it just looks weathered and pitted and like he's wearing, wearing a, a battered space armor, fire flamethrower dude outfit. And again, we're using the iridescent pearl fine, again from the Goldens acrylic line to to add a, an extra little bit of shimmer to uh, an iridescent copper light fine and just a little bit of, of, of carbon black there on the flex points of his legs and shoulders I'm gonna keep pecking away at it I'd like to see a little bit more sharpness in this harness or whatever equipment belt he's wearing um, so he's not quite done yet, but you know, I'm not gonna trash that. Here's another one that I've been I've been working on uh, I don't know, maybe even since July. It's an Operation Moonbase Spacewalker figure. He got cast in a funny way or got squished during his play use since 1962 and won't sit up straight. Uh, without something to keep him stuck down and I've got another figure in, in pristine condition so he, he's also got a broken wrench and he's missing the tail end of his wrench there and what I wanted to see with him again was a battered worn spacesuit so I'm not that that's like cleaning my brush after painting another figure orange I just sort of smushed it all over his surface and I got a, I got a little bit more to cover up there but I want it to look worn and battered and used and here he is hanging over this blob of uh, acrylic glass bead gel again by Goldens here's their information underneath it all is is one of my favorite of their uh, fluid acrylic interference colors the interference blue fine stuff is absolutely fantastic the blue is underneath I think now two layers of the uh, glass bead gel just sort of smearing it on there and I, I, I want it to be even deeper still and have some of it maybe stuck to the bottom of his boots because it's trying to assimilate him ah, that's cool we're using the Interference copper light fine for the structure that he's holding on to and I got to do something with his oxygen hose yet uh, There's two two happy stories that are that are coming along and they're not just painting the figures orange and Sticking them in something. I want these to, to, to be as much about the acrylics as they are about the spaceman forms and Thank goodness they actually seem to sort of be working out. I like just looking at that. It, it, yeah, you can see there where it's opaque. Uh, that part isn't dry yet, so it's got another day to dry before the next layer goes on. And, it, and it, it, it may not even be drying another day. We put it by the dehumidifier down here in the uh, <clears throat> lower decks visual creation cluster. And let it dry. We'll keep plugging away at it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.